What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I want to talk about the subconscious mind and how your power to manifest lies in your ability to essentially feed the right ideas, beliefs and things you desire to your subconscious. If you want to change your experience here, you have to understand how to rearrange your mind to give you more of what you want. Have you ever thought about something, whether it's a blue car, you know, an elephant, whatever it may be, and then later you just, you come across it somehow, you know, if you're always thinking about something, you know, maybe, maybe the car that you want to drive, um, you're always thinking about, you start to see it more and more in your vicinity. Well, I want you to start doing this with your desires. And understand that your power lies in your ability to give ideas, give thoughts, give visions to your subconscious mind for it to then replicate it in your three-dimensional reality. Another example is, you know, have you ever sort of said to yourself, I want to get up at this time before you go to sleep at night? And then with, without an alarm, you wake up at that exact time, Right? So when you begin to understand now the power of your subconscious mind, that is your subconscious mind going to work, you can then understand the power of your mind as a whole and understand that the things that you're experiencing here are in a sense out pictures of what you've consistently fed to your subconscious, right? And this is where the power of imagining things as you already having them or experiencing them is very powerful and when we can begin to imagine from the first person ex perspective of us doing having and experiencing the things we want and we partake in the act we essentially place ourselves in the middle of the play that is our imagination and we we act out what we desire act out what we wish to experience we're in a sense experiencing it because it's all the same imagination, right? In the same way when you fall asleep at night and you have a dream, that's your imagination, but it feels real, right? You can then start to almost lucidly imagine or put yourself in a lucid state where you can control what you wish to see, experience, and understand that you are playing your role in manufacturing your reality by doing this. But the key is to stay persistent and consistent. Because it's not just the good things that manifest in this way. Things you worry about, things you fear, also have that same ability to manifest. So in your ability to have control and power over where you place your awareness and attention, you're actually becoming a creator in a sense. You're, you're becoming someone that has dominion over their experience. And you start to then mold your reality in a way you choose. By deciding to, deciding to put your attention on the things that you wish to experience as opposed to the things you don't wish to experience, right? So focus on what it is that you desire. Feed yourself positive affirmation. Feed yourself positive visualization. And remember, the subconscious mind doesn't sleep, right? It's awake all the time. So be conscious of where you're placing your attention. Feed yourself the right ideas beliefs, visions, and persist in doing that, and persist and persist, right? They say it takes 21, 21 days to form a new habit. Well, if you can feed an idea to your subconscious mind for a prolonged period of time, right, you're strengthening that bond from conscious to subconscious, and whatever the subconscious feels is already so, it outpictures for you. All right, I'm sure you guys found this video helpful. Um, feel free to check out some of the other things I have available in the description. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one, yeah? It's been your boy. Peace, power, prosperity, and love always.